Hello everyone, today I'm going to do tulips for you. Um, as you know, tulips are in different shapes and colors, as you see in this uh, photo. There is also white tulips, uh, which are not in this particular one. Um, okay, let's start. Um, so I picked purple ones. Um, for this tutorial and um, whatever uh, whatever color you pick uh, you need to follow this process which means you need at least three shades of color and also you need to do it in three layers at least three layers and I will explain it when I applying the color okay let's start with the sketch the um, angled one and I just do outlines like this uh, yep. and also I try to have one on one um, almost a uh, face to us like um, a kind of circle which could be this and stems so stems and um, petals and um, as you know the petals uh, for tulips are like um, this and I try to make some um, angled one um, Let's do it like this. And one straight up. Could be like um, fold from one angle, but doesn't matter. It's okay. And with knitted racer, I just grab the excess graphic. Um, as I told you, I need to use three shades of color. I pick um, red violet. The first layer could be red violet, which is this one. And the next one could be mauve, like this, which is very cool. I love it. And also I add a little ultramarine, but I add a little violet rose to it in order to make make it more purple so yeah three shades of purple yeah cool now i wet the paper and let me tell you something about background background should be um lighter because the flowers are um, a lot of dark ones they are not white or yellow or kind of light colors so background should be a lot um, lighter and also um, the um, complementary or opposite color for a purple is um, yellow so I prefer to use the kind of I mean yellow ochre uh, or what one kind of mm, yellow which could be maybe rose umber too or Indian yellow or cadmium yellow uh, but not too much okay let's start with background a little bit 
I just add a lot of background to different parts of the sketch. Mm. And also I just add the um, colors that I am going to use for um, the tulips here and there, but not too much, a little bit would be enough, and random shapes. Okay, let's start with the flower. I just apply the first layer, which is red violet, a little bit. But now I'm applying um, a thicker paint because <clears throat> the paper is wet. So I'm trying to use the um, thicker color-rich dry brush. And on this one, and I'm not worried about bleeding because it makes some random beautiful shapes. Right? Again, I dry my brush and apply the second layer, which is mauve. I'm just following the direction of petals. using the round brush because it has a little, I mean, very sharp tip, so it helps me to um, do a very small um, parts when it's still wet. I'm trying to add more layers to it. Maybe I'll come back for the next layer and um, then I can make it a little darker. Now let's do this one. Next layer could be mauve that I told you it's a very cool purple. And also I keep light from this direction so I make this part lighter than the right side of the petals. Okay, let's change the direction and with a dry brush and thicker color which is a mix of ultramarine and rose violet rose and I go inside of a white 
let's say y y dot two and I let it flow to the 